guys welcome to my channel my name is Tamira Janelle and on this channel I talk about curvy plus size style and soon to come lifestyle so if that's something that you're interested in please continue watching so in today's mini haul I'm going to talk about a couple of items that I got from the Gap Eloquy and Fashion and Figure I just got one piece from um, Eloquy now so I never shopped at Eloquy or Fashion and Figure before this is the first time so I'll tell you about that experience later all right so let's get started first item I got was these beautiful black boot cut pants from the gap oh my god okay i absolutely love these pants if i could use five words to describe these pants they would be comfortable casual classy dressy and sexy they feature a thin vertical line going down to the front of the pant now a thin vertical line detailing is going to allow you to look slimmer and it also gives the illusion that you are taller now me, I am like five, three and a half, five, four, I don't know, one of them. Now these pants are also a high rise. I don't know how you feel about high rise, but I don't care if high rise ever went out of style. I'm always wearing high rise. They lengthen your torso. So high rise is always going to be my favorite cut. Now these pants come in petite, regular, and tall. Now this is important that you make sure that you get the right length. For me, I always, no. For me, I purchased a regular. Now I teeter back and forth between a short and a regular depending on the brand. Now the Gap, now they did not offer um, short, so I made sure I just went ahead and got regular because automatically I know I'm not wearing petite and I'm not wearing tall. I also got these in a size 20. Now, depending on the brand, it determines the size. In different brands, I've worn everything from a 16 to a 24. All right, so then that's a drastic difference. This is why you can't just get stuck in one size and just say, look, I wear a size 16. No, the brand is going to determine the size you wear. What you have to go by is the hip size, your hip inches, okay? So for instance, my hips are 50 inches around and that is the largest part of my body. Now, knowing that I have a 50 inch hip and it's the largest part of my body, I want to make sure that the article of clothing fits the largest part of my body comfortably. So what I do is, is I go on the size chart, which size is closest to 50 inches. You might have one that's 49.5. Then you have one under it that says 51.5. 49.5 is closer to my 50 inches. So I'm going with the one that says 49.5. I don't care what the size is. I'm going with the one that matches my inches. So for instance, look at these charts right here. So you're going to see that there's all different pan sizes and you have to look according to the inches. Now, my waist is a 38 inch, y'all. Sorry, y'all, I'm going off on this tangent about this, but I noticed a lot of people wear, uh, I noticed a lot of women wear the wrong size. Okay, so my waist is 38 inches. That's a 12 inch difference. I also noticed some women purchase uh, their bottoms to fit their waist. <laughs> if, I, if I purchase bottoms to fit my waist, y'all, around my thighs would be so tight and uncomfortable and it would look uncomfortable okay it's going to feel uncomfortable but it would really look uncomfortable there's a difference between fitted and tight okay tight is just like choking the heck out of your thighs i don't like that look and i don't like that feeling so what i do is is i make sure i get my clothes to fit my hips and then the rest, the tailor is going to fit the, fit the rest of my body. Now, tell me in the comments, how many of you are just saying, oh, I wear a size 16, I wear 18, I wear a 20? No, the answer is I got a 50 inch hip and whatever fits that, so be it. That's what, that's what I wear. Ain't no size 18, size 20, whatever, so on. So it's a 50 inch hip. So yeah, I know I went off on a tangent on that, but that is very important. So in short, these pants are high quality and I want to point out anytime a brand offers different lengths, you already know that you're dealing with higher quality when they offer, you know, uh, petite, short, tall. Yes, I would actually purchase this again and I am going to actually purchase a second pair because they're very versatile and they are a timeless piece. So yes, I would purchase them again and yes, I will be purchasing a second pair. I also want to point out that if you take care of these, um, if you take care of these well, they will last you for a good five to 10 years. So next up, I have this beautiful black corset top from The Gap. Oh my God, I absolutely love this top. It's fun, feminine, flirty, uh, just gorgeous, okay? Um, it cinches in at the waist and you know, when we get a good cinch at the waist that accentuates our waist as a curvy woman, 
And we always want to accentuate our waist. That's the thing that people are always compliment, complimenting us on. No matter what size we are, it's just like, oh my God, I love your waist. And if you're a curvy woman, you know what I'm talking about, okay? You've been, people been commenting on your waist your whole life. <laughs> just like, oh my God, I just love how, how tiny and petite or whatever your waist is, okay? So, but that's what I love. That's one of the things that I love about the cor um, a nice corset top. Um, it also hits right at the waistline. It cinches at the waistline, of course. Then it has a nice, dainty, sweetheart neckline. It also has like these really nice puff sleeves. I love a nice puff sleeve because as a bottom heavy curvy woman, that helps to give balance to my 50 inch hips, okay? <laughs> All right, so it helps to balance it out. So my hips don't look as large, which I'm fine with the size of my hips, okay? I just do that for symmetry. I like to have that, you know, that puff top because it gives that nice balance to my hips. Just a beautiful silhouette. Now, I got this top in an extra large. All right, now, it's a decent fit, but it could be a little bit better. Would I return it? No, okay? I'm actually going to buy a third one because I bought this in black and I bought it in olive. You'll see the olive one in a second. Now, I bought this, like I said, I bought this in the XL, but in the off-white, I will be buying that in a double XL, all right? Um, and there's no gap around here. Now, if they had it at the, if they had a gap around here and they had a double XL, I will go exchange it, but the fit is not terrible. And I don't wear any ill-fitting clothes, so keep that in mind. I'm particular about my fit, but I can work with this. Now, I wear a 36i cup, okay? A lot of people don't realize that my cup size is, the size it is. People are like, dang, are those bigger than double D's? Yeah, they're bigger than double D's. I just don't have them like broadcasted out all the time, you know, for everybody to be like, damn, you know. <laughs> but um, so with the 36, with the size bra I wear, that's the reason why I would have gotten a double XL because it would have gave me a little bit more room. Now, because I got an XL, it's a little bit snug around my boob area, but it's not like terribly bad like it doesn't look like terribly tight or anything like that but i can tell if i got a double xl it would have been like a perfect fit and then i would have had to just um most likely just have it taken to my tailor and have her take it in around the waist because like i said my weight is very small in comparison to the rest of my body so that's always what i have to have taken in but the off-white one i will be getting it i'll take i'm gonna take some pictures or i'll do a, a reel on instagram so make sure you follow me on Instagram at Tamara Johnell, and um, you'll see how I style it. And you're going to see the fit of it around my boob area with the double XL. Would I purchase this again? Yes. Excellent quality. Again, another piece that you can have it for another five to 10 years with proper care. Oh. Next up is this red top that I got from Fashion and Figure. Okay. First purchase at, first purchase at Fashion and Figure. This top is an off-shoulder, on-shoulder top. It has a subtle ruching neckline. And I like that because it kind of just broadens, it slightly broadens the shoulders. And again, when you broaden the shoulders, it helps to bring balance to the larger hips on the body. I love this shade of red. It's absolutely beautiful. It's one of those colors that when you walk in a room, people will stop like, wait, who is that? Like. Cause the color just stops them dead in their tracks because it's just so captivating like i wore it the other day and it got so many compliments and i also want to add you want to have on a beautiful scent okay i wore this the other day i had on coco chanel number five let me tell you because that beautiful scent just tops off the look it takes your look to another level okay when you have on a beautiful scent that is a must okay now coco chanel number five i had on now layered it needs to be layered okay i don't like that fragrance in particular i don't like it by itself okay but when it's layered when with the body wash then put on the body cream the body cream not the lotion because they do not smell the same they don't function the same either though but i definitely like cream in the winter time but i wear the cream in the summertime too because the scent is just so lovely but the body cream let me tell you when you get that when you when you smell that body cream you're gonna be like yes Okay, so the body cream, then I top it off with the oil to lock in the moisture. And then on top of that, and then I spray my pulse points with the fragrance. And let me tell you, once that scent settles, look, let me, <laughs> it's a wrap. Okay, people are like, damn, okay, look who just stepped in the room. <laughs> like, let me tell you, a good outfit with a good scent is just, woo. okay, it is captivating. Now, okay, so quality of this top. 
quality is basic. It's okay. You know what I mean? Would I buy it again? Yes. Do I expect it to last forever? No. Okay. Not for the price and not like the class, the, the, the material is just, it's okay. Um, but sometimes I have stuff like that. I don't know. I don't expect it to last for years. Sometimes I just expect it, you know, to last for a good year, you know, a couple of times after a few washes is done. And that's how some um, clothing is going to be. You know what I mean? I'm not expecting all of that. I didn't pay them for it anyway. I'm not expecting over the top when it comes to lasting. So, I mean, I just got to be honest with you. It's not one of those. Do I need it in another color? No, I don't. It's fine just with the red. And I think it only came in red anyway. It's fine with just the red. I'm good. <laughs> I hope that helps. <laughs> So next up, we have this two-piece skirt set that I got from Fashion to Figure. It's a rib knit. This is great for like a casual lunch date, running errands, anything casual, you know, just chilling, something like that. Now with this skirt that I really did like is a lot of times skirts that come in this length and they're form-fitting, they're very restricted when you walk. It's just like you're walking like a robot. I don't like that, okay? With this, it's very comfortable. I didn't feel restricted at all. It's just very easy to walk in. It is a little bit loose at the bottom, but I still do like it. Now the top um, is all shoulder, slightly cropped. Okay, you can wear it as a two piece with the skirt, but you can also wear it with some nice wide leg pants. This outfit is good with some black heels, with some slip on sneakers, preferably some um, slip on sneakers like this. This is one of my favorite pair of um, slip on sneakers right here. You could put a denim jacket with it too. Now, I also did wear the skirt with the olive green corset top. You'll see that in a second. But now, when it comes to the quality of this full set, um, is it high quality? No. Uh, basic quality? Yes. Uh, would I buy it again if I didn't have it? Yes. Do I need it in another color? No. Okay. Will it stand the test of time for years, five and ten years, like the other stuff that I got from the Gap? No. After wearing it a good 10 times is done <laughs> okay and that's okay again some stuff is just for that everything ain't got to be the highest quality ever but it also comes in black do i feel like i need it in black no but do i really love this color and happy with this one that i purchased yes now let me tell you a little bit about the shipping when it came to fashion to figure okay i purchased my items i noticed i didn't get a confirmation i'm like wait a second what happened I signed up for the email list, didn't get a confirmation for the email list. So I was trying to check my order history and I couldn't check my order history because I was never signed up for it when I tried to sign up. I went to the Instagram page after that to see what people were saying in the comments. Everybody's going off. Oh my God, where is my package at? You know, the stuff that, you know, when a, when a company hasn't sent out people's packages, you know how people are going crazy in the comments and stuff like that. I ended up sending them a DM on Instagram, didn't get a message back, but I went to email them, got a, got a message back within 24 hours, and they had told me that it was going to be, I would have it in like three or four days, but USPS, I had gotten an email from them saying that I would have a package in three or four days from New York and company. And I knew I didn't order anything from New York and company. And I was like, I think fashion and figure is under New York and company. So that's the package that's coming in the mail. When I saw that I was, I was content. Would I order from them again? Uh, yeah, a small purchase, maybe a hundred dollars or less. I do like to know what's going on with my package, but they did handle it quickly. So I was happy about that. Would I make a large, like $500 or more? Um, I purchased from them. No. Now, next up, we have this olive green corset top. It's the same top as a black top, but I, I, I got it in olive green. Olive green is one of my favorite colors. Soon as I see it, I'm like, you know, I got to get that color too, because again, it's one of my favorite colors and I love off-white. That's why I have to get that one. I don't know why I didn't get that um, off-white. I'm glad I didn't get it though, though, because now I could get it in the other size. There's nothing else to say about it because it's the same thing as the black top, but just in a different color. But you'll see here that I put it with like the mid-eye skirt from Fashion to Figure and I thought it was really cute. I put it with a black clutch and it gave it like a nice camel look because then I put it with the, um, I also wore it with the camel cognac heels. I mean, I could wear it with my clear, I could wear it with a pair of clear heels too. That would be nice. A clear open toe heels, but I would do that more in the springtime, which is right around the corner. 
Um, but it gave like a nice camo look. Again, a lot of compliments. I already knew that anyway, because <laughs> it's just cute. Excellent quality, just like the black one. Would I purchase this again? Yes. And will it stand the test of time? Yes. Will it last another five years if I take care of it properly? Yes, it would. Okay. It's excellent quality. I would keep it in my closet for years. Okay. Would I purchase multiple, like I said before? Yes, hands down. Love this top. Oh, I forgot one thing I want to say about this. Now, it's not the easiest to take on or take off. You kind of kind of finagle some type of, you kind of kind of finagle yourself into it and figure out a way to get, I mean, and then figure out like a little system to get out of it. But does that um, distract me from wearing it? No. It just takes a little bit longer than the average top to put on and take off, but I would still purchase again. Yes. And I will be continuing to wear this top. Absolutely not. All right. So next up is my chunky V-neck cardigan that I have on right now. Again, from the Gap. Love it. Okay. Love the color. Love the quality. It has like a subtle metallic it looks like a subtle, very, very, very subtle metallic thread, like very subtle, okay? But love the color, love the fit. Let me tell you about this chunky knit, okay? The thing that I really love about it is it doesn't itch, okay? It's irritating to have a cardigan, I mean, to have a chunky knit that itches because I ain't wearing it, all right? I've had to take some back in the past because I'm just like, oh my God, this thing itches so bad. It's uncomfortable. I don't want to be thinking about itching all day. This, um, You could size down in this uh, if you want like a slimmer kind of fit. I can work with the extra, the XL. If I ordered again, would I get an L? Yes, I would. Now, when it comes to a chunky knit, again, with being a bottom heavy curvy woman, it gives more volume up top. So it provides balance to the hips on the bottom. I like the fact that this cardigan can be machine washed and then of course laid flat to dry. Would I purchase this again? Yes. Is this a good quality piece? Yes. Would I purchase it in another color? Yes. Now we have these red trousers that I got from Eloquii, my first purchase from Eloquii. These trousers are excellent quality. Okay, love them. Um, my only con is they don't come in lengths, but they are good quality. Now, I love a contour waistband because it helps to really keep the pants up with ease. But also, I mean, not to say that people have problems with their pants falling down, but if you had it on, you'd know what I'm talking about, okay? It helps keep your pants up easily, but, but it's also great for like, if you just had a large meal and you sit down, it doesn't feel restricting. Like you don't feel like, oh, I gotta open my pants or anything like that. You still feel comfortable when you're sitting down. It also has front slant pockets, which makes it easy to slide your hand in and out. Now, of course, because they didn't come in at different lengths, I had to have my length taken in. Now, another thing that I also love about these pants are they are tailored looking without being tailored. Now, you still gotta get them tailored, but they already have a nice structured tailored look without before they even go to the tailor now i'm not sure i know when i checked earlier like damn near every size was sold out <laughs> you have to um get on a waiting list but when you click the link below you'll be able to see if it's available yet or you got to do a notify me i'm not sure but these pants are worth having they also came with a corset blazer too i should have bought that blazer i'm gonna see if they still have it and if they do i'm just gonna go ahead and get it but the corset blazer was nice too. And I don't know why I didn't get it because I just, I love corsets. So I don't know what I was thinking, but anyway, I'm going to get that blazer. So again, if you want to see me style any of the pieces in further detail, make sure you follow me on Instagram so you can see um, how I style it because I post reels or photos and you can't post photos on YouTube, man. Dang, because sometimes I just want to post photos. I don't always want to post a reel. Sometimes I just want to post photos. And Instagram is the only place you can post photos. You can't do it on TikTok either. <laughs> All right, guys. So now we're at the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know if you're purchasing any of the pieces. What did you love? Do you consider yourself one size when you're ordering your, um, your bottoms? Or do you go by whatever inches you are? Do you get your clothes tailored? In my next video, I'm going to show you all how much space I have in the back of my um, pants 
or my skirts or whatever, my bottoms before I get them tailored. There is so much space back there. Even when I buy from the Curvy collection, there is still a ton of space back there. And a belt cannot do anything about it. It would just be bunched up fabric. It would not look right at all, okay? So it's a must to get your stuff tailored. <laughs> My thing would be looking a hot mess, y'all. I'm sorry. And, and I know every last person, when y'all say it, y'all gonna be like, damn. There's so much space back there. It's ridiculous. But anyway, y'all, I hope y'all enjoyed the video. I'll see you in the next one. All right, bye.